Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and I'm very happy to be bringing you guys the NHL 16 full features reveal that will be coming out for NHL 16 this year. So everybody has been waiting for this to see what game modes or what features that there will be discussed in NHL 16 and the day has finally come. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. And before I start, I should mention to say that this is only a features reveal list. Now, just because I don't mention a certain game modes or certain things that you guys may have expected to see in this list does not necessarily mean that it will not be included that it will or won't be included in the next installment on the NHL series this is only a features list for the things that they're really going to be marketing the game for this coming year so built with more input from our fans than ever before NHL 16 steps onto the ice to deliver ways to compete as a team new features across the most played single player game modes and gameplay innovation at every position on the ice and an unrivaled game day atmosphere. Okay, so we're going to start at new ways to compete as a team. Hockey is a sport that comes to life in a competitive team-based gameplay experience. Whether it's through speed, skill, or physicality, every player makes an impact on the ice no matter what position they play or role on their team. So grab some friends and jump into either 6v6 OTP or online couch co-op, or the reimagined EA Sports Hockey League to prove that great individuals can't be a great team. So there you go, guys. It has been confirmed. EA SHL will be making its return back to NHL 16. So I'm pre I pretty much assume that, that would happen because of that new committee that they have been uh, pretty much working on all the cool stuff with uh, EA SHL. But it is finally nice to see that EA SHL will be back for NHL 16. So, speaking of EASHL, let's talk about the new EASHL. Sharpen those skates and grab your buddies because the EA Sports Hockey League is back. This fan favorite online team team mode has been reimagined and lets you choose specialized player classes to deliver a balanced competitive experience on the ice. Player skill and your ability to play as a team will now be the determining factor in who wins and loses hockey games. So they really just don't give any specific details of what will be in the EASHL, but honestly I think we can all wait on that and see what uh, EA will bring to the new EASHL. It's just very it's good and refreshing to see that EASHL will be making its return back to the game. All right, so 6v6 online team play. Play with up to 12 skaters, including user-controlled goalies. Using real-world NHL rosters, you can compete in ranked dropping games against players from around the world or invite your friends to a private OTP session before you step into EASHL. So this game mode is pretty much exactly what they have in OTP right now in NHL 15 for the next gen. So uh, they're bumping it up to 6v6, so goalies will be used in this version of the game. But it does seem like the real-world NHL rosters where you pick a team and you will play as only those specific NHL players, not your be-a-pro characters, um, I think that will remain the same. They didn't say anything about drop-ins. I'm assuming that the drop-in games will still be back in EA SHL for like free agents and stuff like that. But this uh, 6v6 OTP is pretty much a mirror image of what the OTP is right now in NHL 15. Okay, and now we move on to online couch co-op. The perfect way to play when you and your friends want to jump on the couch, join forces, and play some drop-in hockey online. It's the best place to practice your team play skills before OT before playing OTP and EASHL. So what this game mode basically is, it's a recreation of what NHL 14 versus play was. If you guys could remember in NHL 14 versus play, you could either play as your own or you could play with up to four friends, I believe, on one team and have all four of those guys position lock into a certain position and they would play those players on the thing. So you could play with one person, two, three, four, whatever the case. That's basically just a reimagined NHL 14 versus play where you can have up to four people playing on one team at the same time against maybe like one, two, three, or another grouping of four people. Okay, now we're gonna move into the single player game modes and uh, talk about some of those things. So whether you're an armchair GM, want to live out your NHL pro fantasy, or build your ultimate dream team, NHL 16 will deliver a single player game mode for every type of hockey fan, each with new features that you've never seen in EA Sports NHL. So we're gonna start with GM mode, player morale. Being a GM is more 
is about more than just getting the best players. It's about getting the right players to play well together. Each player on your NHL and AHL team has a different personality that, personality that you will have to manage. Deal with trade demands, teammate relationships, and much more by calling team meetings or adjusting your roster directly to affect your team's on-ice performance. Yes, this is the thing that I've been waiting for so long in GM mode. If you guys remember watching the wish list that me and Richard had made a while back, this is one of the main things that we were talking about. The This feature right here automatically shows that GM mode will now be more than just what they said, getting the best players. Players become more than just stats and attributes. There is actually going to be personalities behind them. You'll have to build your team accordingly to like, you know, where they play junior hockey or what's their country of origin, that kind of deal. Do they speak English? That kind of deal. Age. It's basically bringing in a chemistry style rating that they had in Hockey Ultimate Team, but improving upon that tenfold and putting it into GM mode. So now it becomes more than just getting the best players out there, building a perfect and just building a team with the right players, not the best players, but the right players in order to be successful in GM mode. This is the one thing that I've been waiting for and I really cannot wait to start GM mode now. All right, so be a pro, shape your legacy. The way you play dictates the type of player you are, the player you will become in an all new be a pro progression system. On ice actions directly influence attributes earned, ensuring that your pro will reflect the way you play. Sim to your next shift and the ability to work your way up from the CHL rookie to an NHL superstar also makes a return in NHL 16. Okay, so as you guys can see, there will be a new progression system for be a pro. Uh, sim to your next shift for the skaters will obviously is going to be making a return. You can start in the CHL again, which I think everybody is pretty uh, happy about to see. But the one thing I do want to make a note about this, uh, though, is they said in, they said on ice actions will directly influence attributes earns, ensuring that your pro will reflect the way you play. Now. Whether this means that you just create a be a pro and go straight into your games and then the way you play will automatically determine your player type or if when you create a be a pro character you can still select his, the certain player type that you want to be, who knows, but then maybe that player type will change throughout your, uh, I guess, throughout your career in be a pro, whether you start out as a playmaker but then you could be getting to, you know, score some more goals, uh, not making that many great passes and then you turn from a playmaker into a sniper type of player i could see that being uh, a really great thing in uh, be a pro didn't talk about goalies all too much but it's kind of just focusing on the skaters right now at this point but i'm very interested to see how they're going to uh, make that work and be a pro so no live the life it is going to be be a pro next year all right hockey ultimate team single player seasons the most played game mode in the NHL series gets even better. Improved player management and the introduction of HUT single player seasons gives you another way to hone your skills before jumping online with HUT online seasons or challenging your friends with the play a friend feature. Hey, play a friend is back in HUT, so there you go. Um, wager matches abund abundant in NHL 16 will definitely be happening, but I like how they're going to be doing a lot more with hut single player game modes remember there's those people that play hut that just don't like the online gameplay aspect of it because you know they don't like how other people play certain games so now they're going to be improving upon the single player seasons obviously going up against the computers maybe that'll mean uh new tournaments that you can uh obviously enter your team in or create certain teams to uh be eligible for those certain tournaments who knows what that'll be but uh, making Hockey Ultimate Team more single pl more single player friendly rather than just multiplayer uh, player versus player uh, friendly, I think that's going to be a huge uh, aspect that'll get more people into hut that don't like playing online. All right. And finally, visual on ice training. Whether you're new to the NHL series and looking for pointers or a grizzled veteran trying to perfect your game, this new training tool will help you sharpen your offensive and defensive skills no matter your talent level. Visual aids project shooting targets, passing lanes, open teammates, and more. So what I'm assuming this is going to be like is kind of what FIFA has, where it has those like training style mini games, whether uh, for NHL's purposes, whether it's going to be like, you know, passing, uh, shooting, uh, passing through traffic, making passes, uh, goaltenders aspect, you know, making state saves, being in the right kind of positions, that kind of deal. I think this is what they're talking about. If not, maybe it's just going to be like a more... Um, more effective CPU 
style creating your own AI type of deal thing, but I think it's more like the training type mini games that they'll be having like they do in FIFA and other uh, EA games. I think that's what that's going to be like, and I think that's cool. I like playing the mini games. I like to get better at certain aspects of the game. All right, now, complete control from every position. Whether you play as a forward, defenseman, or goaltender, NHL 16 delivers a balanced gameplay experience that makes every position on the ice meaningful to team success. With gameplay innovation on offense and defense, players have new tools to not only score goals, but prevent them as well. So these are going to be just general, I guess, player movement uh, improvements. So precision skating. Utilizing a new skating tool that allows you to make refined movements with your skater in any situation. On defense, quickly jump into passing lanes and intercept the puck or walk the blue line on the power play and open yourself up for that one-timer in the offensive zone. So it looks like they're going to be making some improvements to the way uh, skating is handled here. You know, we still have been dealing with the unnecessary turns and uh, just weird player movements from time to time, especially in the hitting. So I'm definitely glad to see that they're going to be improving on that once again, and maybe we'll see some better movement from the computers in a certain, you know, certain power plays, certain penalty kills, five on five strategies, that kind of deal. Seamless puck pickups. The ability to quickly control a pass or corral a loose puck can be the difference between generating a scoring chance and getting leveled. New puck pickups result in smoother transitions when receiving the puck no matter what your position, giving you more time and control to make your next move. So, this one is probably going to be affected mostly in Hut because I know a lot of people, certain big people complain that, you know, 99 overall Hut players or Hut cards can't take simple passes. So, I definitely think they're going to be improving on this, the, the way you take certain passes as well. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty awesome to see. And now, finally, we move on to Unrivaled Game Day Authenticity, which NHL 16 brings the game to life with distinct arena atmospheres, the most realistic players yet, and a story-driven commentary package to pull you into the energy of the game like never before. Distinct Team Arena Atmosphere. Best-in-class arena authenticity gets even better with the inclusion of authentic arena effects and prop Props including team-specific celebrations, mascots, chants, and even signature props like the lighthouse that's at XL Energy Center in Minnesota. So as you guys know, NHL 15 was stressing upon the authentic arenas this year, so they got the licensing and they were able to make pretty realistic images of where these uh, stadiums and where these NHL teams play at, trying to make the most of the atmosphere in the entire arena. So it looks like they're going to be improving on that aspect further. By putting in specific team, specific celebrations, goal, specific goal songs, goal horns. You never know. Mascots. I would get happy about this, but I'm a Flyers fan, so I don't have a mascot. Specific chants. Uh, maybe the we'll hear the ole, 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 ole. Like in Montreal, you never know. That could be a thing. And I'm pretty excited to see what they're going to be doing with that for uh, like props like the Lighthouse and XL Energy Center. I think that's going to be cool. Story-driven commentary. Doc Emmerich, Eddie Olchek, and Ray Ferraro are back and now call the game with even more emotion. Hear Doc's voice rise and fall with the action on the ice and get analysis from Eddie and Ray on the peaks and valleys of an NHL season. An expanded NBC Sports broadcast package and new pregame intros bring the drama to life in more ways than ever before. So, it looks like they're going to be redoing certain aspects of the commentary. So, hopefully Doc won't sound like a robot at certain aspects of the game where, you know, big plays happen and he's like, oh, it's a goal, where you would really hear him in real life just losing his absolute goddamn mind. So I'm pretty happy to see that. Also, an expanded uh, NBC Sports broadcasting packages. So we'll see some different game uh, intros. Maybe we'll actually see some, you know, real-life uh, stock footage, I guess, for, like, certain rivalry rivalries. That would pretty be cool if we actually just saw, like, uh, the like the real-life players and, like, stock footage that you would actually see on television put into the game as well. I think that'd be really cool. And uh, the new intros, whether it's like stock footage of the place before an event, um, the guest gameplay inside the stadium before the game. So I think I'm pretty interested to see what they're going to be doing with that. Even though most people will skip that kind of stuff, still I want to see what uh, new things they have to bring. Superstar authenticity. Enhanced facial features and new equipment details synonymous with the league's top players adds another layer of player authenticity. Use these new equipment elements to customize your own created character, giving them a unique look from custom stick tape, colored skate laces, tinted visors, and more. So, more customization with uh, your Be a Pro character, basically, and your EASHL character. 
whether it's, uh, I guess, facial features. I guess they'll be improving upon certain facial features for the NHL players, making them look even more uh, realistic than realistic than what they look like in real life to the game, making them almost uh, almost mirror images. I think that'll be cool. And then, obviously, just more customization with our Be A Pro character is always a good thing. And then, finally, playoff beards. Playoffs? You kidding me? One of the oldest and most iconic traditions in hockey has arrived. With accurate representation of beard patterns, length, thickness, and growth rates for individual players, the road to the Stanley Cup just got hairier. Harrier, Harrier, whatever. Stanley Cup Beard's going to be making a uh, an appearance for the first time. I guess they, they have certain growth rates, so maybe that'll be an option for you to create on your Be A Pro character. Uh, like a specific growth rate where it's slow, medium, high, that kind of deal. Or if he just grows a beard from like out of nowhere. But I think that'll be cool. Playoff Beards, hey man, it's just it gives more to the atmosphere of the game. Uh, the aesthetics of it will just make it seem like a, like, like a playoff game rather than just having, you know, pale faces out there. I have a beard, so I'm excited to see about that. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So that is it, guys. Um, that is the full features list reveal for NHL 16. Well, remember, like I said, it's a features reveal. This is the kind of things that they're going to be marketing to the game when it comes out. Just because we didn't talk about a certain game mode or a certain game aspect in this thing does not necessarily mean that it won't be in NHL 16. For example, shootouts. They didn't talk about shootouts at all in this thing. That doesn't mean that they won't be included in the final uh, final product of the game. So let me know what you guys think as an overall of all these features here. What are you most excited about uh, seeing? What are you most excited about not seeing? Uh, is there certain things here that you expected to see and are excited about? Or are there certain things in here that you didn't expect to see, but now you're really excited about what NHL 16 and EA is going to be bringing to the game? So other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, I will be bringing you guys the most up-to-date NHL 16 news whenever it is released. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I'm excited for NHL 16, and it's only May right now. we still got a lot of time to go. we still got four months to go. And I'm really excited for all the news that we're going to be hearing in the next four months. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.